Namaskar, welcome to Satya Skills. In this video, let us learn something about Mauryan dynasty and Chandragupta Maurya. After Sishunaga, Nanda dynasty became rulers of Magadha and Mahapadmananda was the founder of Nanda dynasty. Nothing is known about this his lineage. He was a non Kshatriya ruler of Magadha. He expanded Magadha kingdom from Himalayas in the north to Godavari in the south. Nandas were very rich, efficient and very powerful. The army they maintained was very large. Alexander could not dare to march forward towards India because of powerful, powerful Nandas. Mahapadmananda along with his eight sons were popular as Navanandas in history. Dhananda was the last in Nanda dynasty. He was one of the eight, eight sons of Mahapadmananda. He became unpopular in Magadha due to the imposition of heavy taxes. He became enemy among his contemporary rulers as he was a non Kshatriya ruler. He developed a kind of hatred towards other kings and could not develop good relationship with other kings. Finally, Dhananda was overthrown by Chandragupta Maurya with the help of his mentor Acharya Chanikya, the genius of that era, Mauryan dynasty. Magadha was rich with fertile lands, highly protected and strategic location, rich in mines, especially iron and copper, thus became rich with lot of wealth of all kinds. Wealth added by efficient administration resulted into golden era of Mauryas. Mauryan era was considered as the best period in the history because of several developments brought into the administration of the kingdom. There were three legendary emperors. They were Chandragupta Maurya the founder, Bimbisara his son, Ashoka the great, Chandragupta's grandson. They gave a golden turn to the concept of administration somewhere 2300 years back on this land with the perfect and systematic political administration. Chandragupta Maurya is the emperor and founder of Maurya dynasty and he was able to conquer mighty kingdom of Nandas with the help of his guru and mentor Acharya Chanikya. Acharya Chanikya was his political guide also. With regard to the lineage of Chandragupta, there was a controversy. According to some most, uh, according to the most ancient available book, Mahaparinibhana Sutta, it was given that Mauryas were the Kshatriyas who were the rulers of Pippalavanam during 600 BC and gradually they lost the powers and merged into the Magadha. Thus, Chandragupta belongs to Maurya dynasty. After the death of his father, Chandragupta and his mother lived ordinary life with some villages, maybe for the sake of political security. According to some historians, once Acharya Chanikya was severely insulted by, very badly insulted by Nanda king in his court, Acharya Chanikya realized that the ego of Nanda reached the peak. People were also very much frustrated because of his greed for wealth. Acharya also realized that there is a danger from foreigners waiting to conquer this land. Maybe he was worried about Greek army under Alexander. Thus, he decided to protect this land by removing Nanda dynasty from the throne. He was searching for a suitable person and found Chandragupta. Acharya Chanikya discovered royal traits and royal behavior in the boy who was taking care of cattle in village. Acharya Chanikya took the responsibility of boy, trained him, educated him in Takshila University. He also understood that Chandragupta was royal prince of Mauryan dynasty. After basic training, Chandragupta, Chandragupta Acharya Chanikya first aimed at foreign rulers and were who were representing Alexander. Several historians wrote that Chandragupta played an important role in liberating India from Greeks. The Mahavamsha Tikka writes, Chandragupta gathered young people from different parts of Magadha and trained them and developed an efficient and powerful army. With their help, he chased foreigners away from this land. After clearing foreigners, he and Acharya turned towards Nanda dynasty. After his victory over Greeks or Greek representatives, he concentrated on strengthening his army. 
Chandragupta was able to gather army with the help of Acharya Chanikya. The youth of Magda were desperately waiting for a leader and immediately joined with Acharya and Chandragupta to fight against Nandas. In two or three attempts, Chandragupta defeated Nandas. According to some books, Chandragupta allowed a Nanda king to leave Magadha with minimum possessions and family members. With this victory, Chandragupta became emperor of large kingdom with abundance of wealth. He conquered Seleucus and continued his expansion, expansion of territories of his land. For the first time, entire subcontinent came under one nation, one rule and emotionally people became citizens of Bharatavarsha, the powerful country. That's all in this video. Next video, I will just talk to you about the efficiency, especially the administrative skills of Mauryan dynasty. That's all. Thank you for watching. God bless you.